They rank among the top professional alpine ski racers in the world. Felix Neureuter, Didier Küch, Michael Walschofer, Marcel Hirscher and Julien Liseroux. Whether it's downhill or slalom, speed is their life. But today they're going to test their skills at full throttle on the racetrack instead of the piste. Walschofer, Küch and Hirscher have achieved almost everything one can achieve on snow. But in the summer, the heat of the asphalt draws them to the grandstand of the most important automobile races like Le Mans. And what fascinates these ski aces most is not just the speed, but also the atmosphere and the teamwork and precise coordination in the pits. These skiing pros have so much fuel running through their veins that they simply must get behind the wheel of a race car. Driving a car like that would be really exciting. It's really very close to our own sport. You associate fast curves and above all speed with both. The three-time downhill World Cup champion Didier Couche, accompanied by five-time Le Mans champion Frank Bieler, takes a sports car for a spin on the famous 24-hour races circuit. The speeds reached on the asphalt are so unbelievable that even our world champion skiers are impressed. Cool, cool. Yeah. At a speed of 350 kilometers, Frank explained where the brakes are. That's insane. And now Didier Kusch and the ski champions Walchhofer and Hirscher get behind the wheel of a race car themselves. Under the guidance of experienced racing instructors, they're learning step by step to take it to the limit or even beyond. We're speed freaks too and that's why we get such a kick when we actually do finally get a chance to really step on the gas this time. The ski pros had no trouble switching from downhill to asphalt slalom. A childhood dream has really come true for me. I bet every Everyone envies us. And indeed it's true. What man wouldn't like to push a sports car to the limit? If you want to control a car like this, then you need more than just a bit of courage. And above all, I think you need a lot of talent to do it. To drive these GT3 rockets, our stars need as much courage as they do for a downhill run. Now the LMS, I think that's an entirely new dimension. We're afraid DDA is not going to bring it back in one piece. But DDA Kush does a fine job in the end. The Olympic silver medalist displays a true sense of speed on the asphalt as well. And with the support of five-time Le Mans winner Emmanuel Pirro, he doesn't make any mistakes. Walschofer and Hirscher bring the over 500 horsepower GT3 race car back to the pit without a problem. The brake performance down there was absolutely amazing. Now I know why they say that race car driving is exhausting. In Barcelona, Lisa Roux and Neureuter also trade in their skis for some slicks and put their curving technique to the test on this challenging Formula One circuit in a V8 sports car. Just like skiing, even if it looks really easy, it's still really fast-paced. Both Neureuter and Lisa Roux have won the prestigious slalom racing competition in Kitzbühel in Austria. At the racetrack in Barcelona, they will now make the change to a thoroughbred mid-engine sports car. Our skiers prove that if you can steer your way through slalom gates at top speed, you could also find the fastest path through the curves of a Formula One racetrack. We are very used to the, to the speed. And, uh, and so I think after a couple of, uh, of turns of the circuit, then you're uh, in, in the good line and then you can push forward very much. I always was a little impatient. I wanted to cut in a little too early, similar to the way I feel when I'm skiing, where I also do that. But despite a few beginner's mistakes, there's a lot of praise from the five-time Le Mans winner for the skiing stars. Skiers, they have a feeling for speed, a feeling for line, a feeling for uh, when you lose it and uh, in a short, short time they really had the grip on it. Driving is not only good training for curves on piste, it also sharpens their sense of competition for the coming season. The, the others are, of course, uh, tough competition. You have to give them that much. But this coming winter, it will just be crucial to come in before the others. Of course, the World Cup in Garmisch is the highlight of the season, and of each and every one of the ranks of the different disciplines, downhill, super G and giant slalom. It would just be terrific if I could battle my way all the way to the top. I'm not going to forget the feeling I had so quickly, and maybe during a downhill run I'll be able to think, hey, that feeling, I just have to put myself back in that state of mind.
All five of the skiers experience something new on this excursion. They will be competing in the Alpine Ski and World Cup in Garmisch-Partenkirchen.